Hello. Now, a while back on What Next, we came up with a frankly brilliant idea. It does happen from time to time. We wanted a travel show, but we wanted to do it on a budget because we didn't have a lot of money to do it. And this car keeps it real. What we came up with was we would dispatch Lucy as our travel reporter. She'd go to an airport not knowing where she was going. Then when she got there, we'd connect with her on a video link and we would send her to wherever was the cheapest flight out of the airport, wherever it took her. Not only that, it's a travel show. So she was charged with, on getting to each place she arrived at, producing a travel report from it. It was, frankly, brilliant, and I'm very glad I came up with it. <laughs> I said it, it was deep. So, we're doing it again. Yes. Three cheap destinations, three days, and Lucy has zero idea where she's going. Skyscanner was where we got the deals last time, and they enjoyed the series so much that they've decided to sponsor the channel, so they're making this new trip possible. There's a feature on there where you can set the destination to everywhere, and then sort by cheapest, so you can find out what is the cheapest flight leaving your nearest airport on any given day, which means you'll end up in some places that you maybe wouldn't think of for an incredibly low price. We've also selected Lucy's Hotels using Skyscanner as well. We're going as cheap as possible, of course. Real world, cheap travel is what it's all about. So that's how it's gonna work. That's what we did last time, and that's what we're doing again, because it is great fun. It's basically being cruel to Lucy, but we really enjoy it. Yeah, so she should be at the airport fairly soon, and then down the line, we'll give her a ring and yeah. send her on her way. So next thing to happen will be, we'll video link wherever we are <laughs> with her at the airport, and she will then learn, and only then, where she's going first. Morning, Lucy. I hope you're at Gatwick Airport. I am indeed, waiting to know where I'm going. You're excited, Lucy? Yeah, I am. I think I'm a lot more excited because I know a little bit more what to expect this time. So right. I'm, well, yeah. I'm not sort of worried. I'm just excited. A little bit yeah, worried. you know what to expect as in what the process is, but you don't yet know where you're going over the next few days. Exactly. It's really exciting. How do you pack? Do you just like as much as you can? Yeah, well, I've only got a backpack, so I've just gone for sort of one hoodie and then just shorts, two t-shirts, really. Just your Hopefully usual I'm scrubs. going somewhere warm. Usual scruffs, basically. Okay, well, this is the first leg of your journey, um, and we need to, oh, this is quite exciting, we need to tell you where you're going. Mike, do you want to do it or shall I do it? You do it. You announce I'll start it. it. Yeah, I'll start it, then you finish it. You're going to... Stockholm. Stockholm. Okay. For the princely sum of £32. Now, that is that's pushing the budget. This is madness. It's because of the time of year, isn't it? It's a bit more expensive to get anywhere this time of year. Absolutely. Yeah, we're pushing the budget. So, Lucy, we are sending you company expense flying to Stockholm for £32, which 10 years ago would have paid for a night out. Not now, but it would have done. So um, we need you to honour that by doing an amazing piece of travel reporting. So first question must be, what do you know about Stockholm? Nothing. Scandinavia. Um, Just... they're, they're quite friendly, aren't they? The Swedes. Is that going to be the basis of your travel report? I'm in Stockholm. I think they're quite friendly. So um, you, it's it's watery. There's lots of water and it's cold, which means I've not packed correctly. Brilliant. That's a good start. Excellent. I'm sending you your boarding pass now. Your flight leaves in about an hour ten time. So uh, yeah, you better get cracking. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to your report and we'll be thinking of you on your adventure. Good luck out there. Okay, I've just found out I'm going to Stockholm, which is cool. I've always wanted to go there and I've never been. A little bit worried that. I have not packed very warm clothes. I kind of assumed I'd be going warm places, so probably going to be a little bit cold. They're almost calling us to our gates. So I'm going to go and get ready for the flight, starting to Google everything I can about Stockholm, and hopefully it goes all right. Unlike last year, Mike and Richard have given me plenty of time to get through the airport, which I'm very grateful for. Unattended at any time. Unattended. 
I've been following the signs for the buses for quite some time now. It's definitely a very long walk. Oh, oh my God, it's so cold. Oh shit, it's my bus. Oh my God. I have just got on my bus on the way to the center of Stockholm. I so almost missed it. The guy was yelling at me when I tried to get on, like not a very good start to this trip so far. Another thing, it is freezing here. Like I don't mean like jokingly, oh, it's cold. It's literally minus one. It is freezing. I've bought my light raincoat. So hopefully I don't die of hypothermia while I'm here. I'm on my way into the centre of town, like I said. Then I'm going to find the hotel or hostel that Mike has me in for tonight. Then tomorrow is travel show time. Good morning. It is 7.55 a.m. I've been up for just over an hour. I've been researching a little bit on Stockholm. I found a map last night, which has been super helpful. I think I know roughly where I'm going to go in the city and what I'm going to say. So let's go. Where is the metro station? Oh, that's some wind. Oh, that's cold. I'm currently on my way into the centre of Gamla Stan, which is the old town. Oh, nice police Volvo. Where I'm going to do a bit on the old town and what people can do there. The wind is very annoying. As you can see, it's blowing my hair completely in my face. Oh. It is still freezing and it's now started raining, horrible cold rain. I've now changed my priorities. Next thing is to find a shop where I can buy some gloves and a hat because this is miserable. Oh, hat shop, hat shop, hat shop. I'm trying to stop the rain. <laughs> ah, it's mixed with snow too, so yeah. it's cold, extra cold. Yeah, I'm not prepared for this weather. <laughs> no, not, not us either, actually, even it's the time of the year, but it comes very suddenly. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. It's filming, thank you. Yeah. The Nobel Prize Museum. That's it. It's okay? Nobel Prize is the city of Yeah. The Nobel Prize Museum. Yeah. No, okay. No, the Nobel Prize Museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Um, it's perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that was so mortifying. Why? Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, how are you kayaking right now? It's so cold! Crazy! Behind me is probably the most iconic landmark in Stockholm, the city hall. It sits at the tip of Kungsholmen, Kungsholmen, Kungsholmen Island and features 106 metre tall, 106, 106, 106, 106, 106 metre tall tower with a golden spire. That's a prominent part of the city skyline. Oh, it's going to have to be the wide angle. Behind me is probably one of the most iconic landmarks in Stockholm, the City Hall. So the second part I was going to do for City Hall in the show was about their lovely ornate gardens that I read about on Google. It turns out those gardens are basically just grass. So I'm not going to do that bit and now I'm going to go and find some lunch. Okay, we've got our meatballs with some peas and mash and linden berry sauce. Let's see what it's like. Get the old tripod out, be an absolute loser. People will think I am absolute, like not only am I a loser eating on my own, I'm filming myself eat on my own like an absolute double loser. <laughs> That's nice. I finished my meatballs. I really enjoyed them. And now I'm off to find some cool looking metro stations.
Beauty. Something I've noticed looking around the different metro stations is that A, there's hardly anyone using them, and B, they're so clean. Like, no stains. Here's a drama. It's my next stop, I need to get off. But they're so clean. It's lovely, there's no marks on the windows. It's great. Huh? You're Lucy, right? Yeah. You're doing again a travel show. Yeah. What's your name? I'm nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Aaron. You're flying from Orlando, right? Yeah, yeah. At what time? Uh, it's first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, while I have you, can I ask you to film of me course. for yeah. two seconds? That would be amazing, thank you. Yeah. I just have one last little thing to do oh, about the metro. You there? Huh? I see you have the camera through there. Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm not allowed. If I, I, I can't talk to them. Yeah. So I got a lot of comments last time asking me like, oh, but there's film, yeah, but I can't. If I talk to them, hello. They, they won't interact with me, <laughs> um, but they're filming me from afar. Um, if you could sort of like that, that'd be amazing. Of course, yeah. Sure. And I'll just like that. Thank you so much. Stockholm's metro system is often dubbed the world's longest art gallery, and for good reason. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. Nice to you. That was pretty cool not been recognised before doing a travel show. Excuse me. Would you huh? mind filming me for two seconds? Huh? Would you mind filming me for two sure. seconds? Thanks so much, it's recording. Yeah. See. Thank you. So that's 24 hours in Stockholm. Adieu. Thank you so much. You're Thank you. Welcome. Oh, that was lovely. She's so tall. I guess she must be Scandinavian. Oh, the sun's coming out just for the end of the day. Okay, better get editing. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. He doesn't look tired. I thought she might look more tired. I like her hat. I, I like the little hat. It's cool. That's cool. It's cool. You this know where you are. A necessity. It was so cold. We landed last night, snowing. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Definitely not prepared for snow. Bearing in mind, like I said, like yesterday, wow. I packed for, you know, hopefully somewhere warm. So very cold all day. I had to buy a hat and gloves. Right. So you shot edited and sent the video to us and we have it here, Got it here. And we're going to watch it so are you going to sit there while we watch it yep yeah, cool. just a bit of context though i edited it on the coach back to this airport airport hotel and everyone just thought i was so self-centered and the coach of just me editing a video of myself oh god because well you had your things in so at least i couldn't hear yeah, that but, they, you, could but you were just... my, they could see my laptop screen so just, how self-obsessed is that girl in the sweden hat Sitting there cutting a video of herself. Yeah, but nice. I mean, influencers do that all the time. Exactly. You know, it's just you're fashionable and young. It's a bit weird if I was doing it. Let's be honest. That's <laughs> odd. Right. Okay. We're going to watch it. Okay. Hold. Here we go. Founded in 1252, Stockholm is now one of the largest cities in Scandinavia. Built on 14 islands, it boasts more bridges than Venice and more saunas than taxis. With a history spanning over seven centuries, it's no wonder you can find Viking relics, medieval streets and modern design gems. Now that we're here, let's see what else Stockholm has to offer. Let's. Behind she looks me cold. is probably one of the most iconic landmarks in Stockholm. The, the City Hall. Oh. It's got a 106 metre tall tower which you can climb for breathtaking views of the city. There's also a massive golden spa at the top which makes it a key part of Stockholm's skyline. Walking through the streets of Gamla Stan, Stockholm's old town, is like taking a time machine back to the Middle Ages. Nowadays it's full of cosy cafes, traditional Swedish restaurants and cute little shops. There's also some really cool architecture in this part of town so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for the Nobel Prize Museum, Kungliga Slottet. Riddarholden Church. While you're in Sweden, why not try some local food? It's Sweden is famous for meatballs and you can get them pretty much anywhere yeah. in Stockholm. 
I am on a budget, however, and they seem to be quite expensive. So I've come to the one place where I know I can get cheap meatballs. Okay. Ikea. Yes! I've got meatballs with mash and peas and the famous lingonberry sauce. Let's see how they taste. Not a fan of the sauce. What? It's brilliant. But the mash, the peas and meatballs, delicious. Stockholm's metro system is often dubbed the world's longest art gallery and for good reason. All of the stations are full of awesome murals, sculptures and all sorts of just arty fun. Take this, Stadien Station. Who doesn't want to start their morning commute with a massive rainbow? Or Kunders Garden, which is not only one of the most impressive, it's also one of the deepest. And as researchers have recently discovered, home to its own self-sufficient ecosystem. They're so cool. Here are some of my favourites. Raduzet, Degnista Hogskolan. That's been 24 hours in Stockholm. I've had a great time. I've really enjoyed it. And I definitely recommend you come for a visit. Just make sure to bring a massive coat because it is freezing. Adieu. Oh, mate, that's brilliant. I mean, that's really some good. language that. in the end there as well. That was a proper travel report. I really, I mean, uh, I love that for a very small budget. We are actually making a travel show. That was a genuine travel report. And you shot that today, edited it on the coach, to hotel whilst being stared at by people who thought you were a weirdo. <laughs> uh, and then we've done it and it's been out. That's yeah, brilliant. but you Thank want you. to know the coolest part about today. Yeah. I was getting ready to find a stranger to film the uh, opening bit for the Metro. And this guy mm. comes up to me and he's like, Lucy. I was like, what? He's like, You're doing your travel show. And I was like, yeah. No way. I am. Influencer. Oh, that is it. Influencer. Big time. Here it is. You're going to get a free hat next. So he <laughs> Wherever filmed, you go. He filmed oh, that's that brilliant. after knowing about the travel show. So that was very that cool. So we are actually making a travel show. The only thing is, don't get too good at this because otherwise then it'll be like judged alongside other travel shows. Yeah, we don't want it to be too proper. No, exactly. It's got to be, you know, keep it real. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Away. Don't worry. Great, I love it. There were facts in there. There's stuff I didn't know. Yeah. And I feel like I've been there and you went underground and you did your food bit. You said adieu or wherever it was. Wherever that was the end. Yes, which we're assuming was some local, was it? Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. There oh, you go. Well, but, but, uh, see, that's brilliant. That's very, very cool. And you're going to do it all again somewhere else tomorrow. <laughs> yes. I'd oh. get to bed, get some sleep, uh, be up first thing around 7 a.m. and you'll receive a video on WhatsApp. Of where you're going next. But I know, see, don't get giddy this evening. Drinks cost a fortune there. <laughs> Straight to bed, glass of water with your little hat, and then good luck tomorrow. Can't wait for the next report. Can't wait for the next journey. Mm. Brilliant. Carry on. See you tomorrow. Our brave explorer. Hey. Yeah.